My name is Jacob Lawson. Uh, I'm a street photographer in San Diego, mostly candid, kind of uh, urban landscape kind of photography. So I found out about film uh, when I first moved to San Diego. Um, Safe Play Labs opened up, and uh, my younger brother, who actually has been shooting film for quite a while now, told me that they opened. He was like, oh, you should check it out. Um, I had shot digital for years before that. Um, but I decided to go to one of their shows, started talking to Rob there, kind of talked to a bunch of other people there, and um, honestly, eventually just kind of decided to grab a camera, bought a camera, uh, started shooting. It started kind of ramping up when I got a copy of uh, Robert Frank's The Americans. Um, that, for me, was kind of the defining point of me finding my direction and the fact that I could take photos of everyday things and walk down the street and take photos of everyday people. I didn't have to try to find something where everything came together perfect and you had the colors and the light and everything. I had to just go shoot life. For me, film, I guess, has like an organic feel to it and also a certain uncertainty. Um, depending on whatever film stock you use, it kind of gives you an inherent vibe or feel to it. Um, I don't really like post-processing too much, even after I scan. Um, obviously, printing in the dark is a whole other thing, but as far as like scanning, I don't like to do a lot to my photos after, so finding a film stock and, and uh, you know, whether I'm pushing or whatever, pulling, um, in order to make that photo as perfect as I can out of camera, I guess, um, is kind of what I love about film, is that if I find that, I'm all set. I think both of the both both digital and film kind of have their place. Um, personally, once I started kind of getting serious about film, I had no desire whatsoever to take out my digital cameras. Um, to the point where, I think about three or four weeks ago, I sold off my last digital camera. Now all I have is film. Um, I just don't personally have the need for it. Anything that I work for and uh, will work with, and. Um, just don't have the drive to shoot digital anymore, I guess. The biggest thing was that a lot of it, like I said, is uncertain. And a lot of it, um, the control is kind of taken out of your hands, at least at the beginning of the process. You know, if you have a digital camera, you can check everything. You can, okay, you could take a couple test shots. You can check the exposure. You can make sure everything's right. Um, with film, you kind of have to trust yourself and then that's it. You take the, you, you fire the shutter and that's it, the moment's done. So you won't find out a w until you know, a week, two, three, six, whatever, you know, later, uh, if that shot even came out well. So my favorite film uh, as of right now is HP5 by far. Um, I just love the latitude on it. I can uh, shoot it in just about like any scenario and it'll look good. Um, I like the fact that even when I push it, um, I get a pretty flat negative that I can do a lot with. Um, if I want to, mess with it in post-processing, I have the ability to do that. And um, now that I'm kind of starting to get into the darkroom as well more, uh, HP5 is just, those negatives are gorgeous to use to print. So um, all around, I think it's just a great all around film that uh, can do everything I need it to. Well, my favorite camera is definitely uh, the Leica M6. Um, that was after, uh, you know, honestly, only a few months of me shooting film, uh, I picked up this camera and it just felt great in my hands. And it's gotten to the point now where I don't even think about it. Um, it's just become like an extension of my body. And honestly, I feel like that could probably happen with any camera for anybody. Um, but for me, like rangefinder that I could zone focus easily um, and just have the agility that I want on the street was so important to me. So for me, um, I like to photograph people the most. Uh, like I said earlier, you know, just situations, um, normal everyday people. Um, I think it lends itself to film as well, just with the aesthetic of film. Um, because, it, you, know, you know, I grew up with, you know, my mom having, you know, a little point and shoot. So we have boxes and boxes of prints of film. So film for a long time was the accessible medium, you know. So I feel like it's only right to shoot those types of things on an accessible medium, if you will. So as far as replicating film on digital, um, I mean, yeah, you could probably make the same look. I mean, there's filters. I have filters in Lightroom that I was using when I was shooting digital um, that look like all the Kodak films and stuff, and I think you could probably get it pretty close. But um, 
they could never replicate like the feeling and the actual process of using film, you know, of, of, of developing, of printing in the dark room, of, you know, pushing film and having the ability to kind of mold those negatives to whatever you want with a physical process. Oh yeah, my mindset changed big time. And it's funny because it went in two different directions. So initially, I remember when I started shooting film, um, I didn't want to shoot it for street because my mindset was, well, I'm going to be so scared to hit the shutter because I'm going to hear a little cash register ka every time I do it because I'm spending money on every shot. Um, so I was so worried about that, that when I first started shooting street with it, I was very apprehensive. I was very slow of like, well, is this worth the shot? Oh, no, it's not. Okay, is this worth the shot? And I was too in my head about it. Um, now it's flipped on the other side, and I think this has come with developing my own stuff, so my prices, you know, my costs have done, uh, gone way down, um, that now I just shoot like a madman. And honestly, I think I, um, I'm in my head a lot less when I shoot now, because again, I can't try to be perfect with everything. I have to kind of just trust that, okay, my, my settings are right, let me just go for it, and I just take shots. And honestly, it's like, for me, especially on the street, if I get, three or four shots out of a roll that I really like, that's awesome. If, if resources weren't an issue, um, I guess there's two different directions I would go with that, right? One is like a gear kind of question, right? Where I would love to like get into like large format kind of stuff and doing, you know, like road trips where I could do, you know, just like scenery kind of across the world, uh, you know, across the country or something like that. That would be really cool. Um, obviously in general, just like travel photography, being able to take my street photography and go different places would be great. I think everyone should give it a try um, just because it's a wholly different process. You know, obviously everyone has a camera in their pocket now. We all have smartphones. So kind of taking a photo has become a very cheap operation, a very, you know, something that's just is taken for granted. We can take photos of everything. And with film, it just, it, I guess it makes you think about it a little bit more. It makes, it makes it mean a little bit more. You know, I'm not one of those people that's like super into the fact that like, oh, if I have my negatives, they'll last forever. They might, they might not. I'm, not. I'm not, you know, too concerned about that. But in general, just the process of using film makes the photo mean more, at least to me. I think the, the thing that's uh, the hardest to kind of accept and, and work with with film, again, is kind of the uncertainty. You know, I feel like you're not a real f film shooter until you get back your first roll from the lab or you develop your first roll and it's absolutely blank <laughs> and you have nothing and you were just at this amazing event or you, were, you went to this beautiful place and you shot this roll and you were so excited about it and then something went wrong and it's not there. So I think the way history is going in general is that we're having this revival of a lot of the analog processes that people did once um, and people are kind of regaining another people are regaining like a new um, interest in the way things used to be done and kind of you know not not doing it just for nostalgia's sake but saying hey there's something that there, there's something that um, that this added to this process that we really like. You know, this had some value beyond just nostalgia of like, oh, I'm gonna shoot film because it's old, you know? For me, honestly, that's not even a factor with film, you know? So I feel like going into the future, I think, I think people are getting more and more interested in film. Um, obviously, we have kind of this hipster revolution of it where, you know, like Kylie Jenner or something is shooting film, so it's cool. And I think that'll probably die out, but you know, the people that are shooting film now, I, I, I think, I think it, they're going to kind of catch a fire again and, and get more people into it. Um, and make it something that I guess can, can be approachable for anybody, you know? I mean, there's still film labs, you can bring film to be developed and everything like that. So yeah, get people to, again, get, get a disposable or something like that and just, just I don't know, I, I, I feel like the, the love of that process won't go away anytime soon. My name is Jacob Lawson and I shoot film.